Welcome back to Transfer Talk and the news just keeps on coming. We showed you Bale earlier. This is Thiago in this vehicle arriving at Liverpool's training ground ahead of his move, which could rise to £25 million. Here is the Liverpool captain as well, Jordan Henderson. I'm sure he'll be given a real lift by the signing of Thiago. And we also have James Milner here as well, arriving at Liverpool training. So Liverpool's players, I'm sure, will be very excited by the signing of Thiago Alcantara. I hope that's their car. Yes, yeah, so the Liverpool fans as well, they'll be very excited as they try and peer over the fence to get a look at their new man as well. Um, Jurgen Klopp has been speaking to the media this afternoon about Thiago. He was very tight-lipped yesterday, wasn't he? Did we manage to get any more out of him today? Let's have a listen. It's not official until it's announced, and I'm not the announcer, and so I don't know um, but really what I can say now. Um, it looks pff, quite promising. <laughs> My hands are tied, pretty much. Yeah? So I'm, um, yeah, probably it's for all Liverpool supporters, it's quite um, useful to, to have a look at a few LFC channels over the day. I would say that could help. And then um, we will see when whatever happens. Most of the things I will say, if it happens, are obvious. So um, it's nothing what somebody has to discover um, about this player. And that's, that's how it is. So, as I said, it's, it's tricky now for me. It's, yeah. it's not announced. Nothing is announced. So um, that's all I can say. It's easy for us to put two and two together and say it could impact on Gini Wijnaldum's future. So is that going to be the case? If, if it happens, it has no impact on anybody's future in a negative way, if you want that. So, like, somebody has to leave because somebody comes in or whatever. No, that I... Interesting there. I'm sure the Liverpool admin will be very pleased that Jürgen has teased the social channels this afternoon. He said, keep an eye on those LFC channels later on today. We'll talk about Ginny Wijnaldum in just a moment. But despite Jürgen Klopp being not very forthcoming with information on Thiago, the player himself has posted a, a goodbye message on his uh, Twitter feed himself today. This is it, very nicely designed. He says, yes, it has been the most difficult decision of my career. I decided to close this chapter in this marvellous club, the club where I grew and developed myself as a player during the last seven years. He says, victories, success, joy, moments, and some hard times as well. But what I'm most proud of is having arrived in Munich, being a young man full of dreams and leaving completely fulfilled and identified with a club, a history, a philosophy, a language, and a culture. Here I learned how to love and respect a tradition, which I say goodbye now, but I will never forget the Mir San Mir. Me and my family have lived amazing moments at the city, at Sabana, Strasse, and of course, in our beloved Allianz Arena, with you, my Bayern family, who treated me so well and loved me every second. My decision is purely sports-related. As a football player, uh, I want and I need new challenges in order to develop myself as I did here. Eternal thanks, Bayern. I mean, it'd be some turnaround if he now didn't end up joining Liverpool, <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it? You've got good eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the key, the key word there in that statement was that he was fulfilled. And you have to say, Bayern actually offered him a new contract it looked like he was ready to sign it and then changed his mind because, as he says there, he wanted a, a new challenge and Liverpool has become that new challenge for him. It would be uh, interesting, really, the, the word in that saying he's fulfilled because he's won all the trophies, hasn't he, at, at Bayern Munich. Are we surprised? Do we think that it's taken Liverpool this long to get a major signing in? They had that incredible window of 2018. They've signed players, obviously, since then, but nobody have the calibre, perhaps, of Thiago? I think when you go back to the summer of 2018, they signed Alisson and they signed Fabinho. They were two needs for that team. The Jurgen Klopp looked at his side and go, what do we need now just to get us to the side? What is going to take us that extra step? That's why they brought those two players in. Now, it's a case where they've won the Champions League, they've won the Premier League. It's how do we evolve this team? How do we create a legacy? Well, you bring in a player that has won it all. That's what you do. That's how you create a legacy. You bring winners to maintain that winning mentality. And that's exactly what Liverpool are doing here. And Jurgen Klopp mentioned uh, Jeannie Wijnaldum there. He said that it doesn't affect his future, but he's, he's in an interesting 
situation at the moment, Wijnaldum, right? Well, there's two ways you can look at it. Look, we've got a new season, but there's a lot of games coming at a short space of time. So I don't believe in this one has to come in and one has to go out, especially a quality of Wijnaldum's stature. However, you've got Ronald Koeman, very, very keen to bring him in at Barcelona. You've just read a statement out there, Dave, about wanting new challenges. Does he, does he want a new challenge? He, he's just won the lot at Liverpool. Only he will know, and I'm sure Jurgen Klopp knows himself. Yeah, I mean, we've been told that uh, Gini Wijnaldum held positive talks with Jurgen Klopp over his future. He's got a year left on his contract. Ronald Koeman, as we know, would like to try and sign Gini Wijnaldum, but Barcelona have their own financial difficulties, as do Liverpool, really. They have not been immune from the financial situation brought about by the coronavirus pandemic. They are in a situation where, as Jurgen Klopp has said himself, they can't go and splash money like Chelsea and Manchester City uh, have done uh, in the past anyway. Um, so it'll be interesting to watch the situation with Gini Wijnaldum and I'm sure Liverpool fans will be watching the LFC channels, as Jurgen puts it, this afternoon.